In topic two, data transmission, we've got to cover something called check digits, and in particular, two different types of check digits, and these are modular 11 and ISBN 13. And we've got a couple of activities here. In the book, it's activity 2.7. And number one, using the algorithm for ISBN 13, calculate the check digit for, and we've got a number here. For question two, we're gonna use both ISBN 13 and modulo 11 on these two numbers here to check um, what the end digit is or the check digit. It's usually the last digit that is sent with a packet of data. Well, let's start with activity one. So with ISBN 13, what it's gonna do, it's gonna first of all take all the odd numbers. One, nine, eight, five, zero, five, five. And it's gonna multiply them by one. It's gonna add them all together, as you can see here. I'm going to multiply them by 1, i.e. the 1 in 13. And then we're going to get a total of 32. And then what it's going to do is it's going to take all the even numbers, so 7, 1, 1, 4, 7, and 9, as you can see here, and it's going to multiply these by 3. Okay, with part 1, it doesn't necessarily need to multiply them by 1, but... I've just put that in just, just to make it a little bit more obvious for you. So we've got 1 and 3, i.e. 13. So we add all the numbers together, we times it by 3, and we get 3 times 29, which is 87. Okay, then what we've got to do is add these two numbers together. Add 32 and 87 together. And then we're going to divide this number by 10. Okay, so 119, adding 32 and 87 together, 119 divided by 10, equals 11 remainder 9. And then what we do, and this is quite bizarre, we take the 10 that we've got here, we'll put it here, and we take that remainder 9, we take that remainder away from 10, and we have a check digit of 1. Okay, so that's ISBN 13. Okay, so for this one, number 2, I'm going to do the same thing again, ISBN 13, but this time I'm also going to do modulo 11, and I'm going to be working on this number here. As before, I take the odd numbers, which in this case is 2, 3, 1, 0, 0, and 2, as you can see that here, add them all together, times them by 1, and I get 8. Then I do the even numbers, 1, 1, 1, 0, 4, and 8, Add all those down here, times them by 3, so 3 times 15, I get 45. So 8 plus 45 um, is obviously 53, divided by 10 is 5 remainder 3. So I take the 3 away from 10, and I have a check digit of 7. Okay, now modular 11 works in a different way. Okay, module 11. What we're going to do with this one, we're going to times the first number. This is, this is I think, is the easiest way of doing it. Um, it might be a little bit different in the book, but this is how I would do it. What we're going to do is, starting with 13, we're going to multiply 2 by 13 for some reason. This is module 11, so it's, it's, it does seem strange. Multiply that by 13, multiply over 1 by the 12, 3 by 11, 1 by 10, as you can see here. Okay, and then we carry on. 9 times 1, 8 times 1, 7 times 0, 6 times 0, 5 times 0, 4 times 4, 3 times 2, and 8 times 2. Okay, so we've covered all of these. Once we've done that, we're going to add them all together. So 13 times 2 is 26. We add it to the 12, to the 33, and we carry on, carry on, carry on, all the way down until we get a total, in this case, of 136. Now, with modulo 11, we're going to take that 11, and we're going to divide our total, 136, by 11. Again, it works on remainders, so this equals 12, remainder 4. So we're going to take our original value, 11, we're going to subtract the remainder, and our check digit is going to be 7. 
So the ISPN number for this one, ISPN 13, has got the same check digit as, um, as the modulo 11, which is both equal 7. This isn't always the case. Now, if you want to have a little go, based on what you can see here, if you want to have a little go at that one, the next one, that's fine. If And pause the video. If not, I'm going to show you how that works right now. Okay, this time we have the number 909812123544. ISBN 13, just to remind you, we're going to times the um, odd numbers by 1. And we're going to times the, the even numbers by 3, 1 and 3. So we end up with a total here of 27. And we end up with a total in the bottom, multiplied by 3, of 63. So we add these two numbers together, 27 plus 63, and we divide it by 10. So we have 90 divided by 10, which is basically 9 remainder 0. There's no remainder on this, but we still put the check digit as being 0. Okay? Now with modulo 11, as before, we multiply the first number by 13, second number by 12, 11, 10, 9, and we carry on, carry on, carry on, until we, get a until we get to 2, 2 times 4, and we have a grand total of 395. Again, we take the 11, modulo 11, and we divide 365 by the 11 to get 35. But it's 35 remainder 10. Okay? We take from the modulo 11, we take the 11, and we take the ten, what the, the remainder from it, the 10, and we end up with a check digit here of 1. So it, as I said before, it doesn't always work in terms of them corresponding. ISBN 13 for these digits, we ended up with 0, and for modulo 11, we ended up with a check digit of 1. So have a little practice at that. They're not the easiest things to do, but once you've got your head around it and you know the algorithm, it should be okay. The algorithm should be presented to you in an exam question, if one was to come up. Okay? Thank you very much indeed for watching, and I will see you next time. Please continue to ask questions, leave your comments, hit notifications, and please subscribe. And finally, if you wish to buy me a coffee, I'd be truly grateful. Please visit buymeacoffee.com forward slash learning zone. Thank you very much indeed. See you next time. Bye for now.